There are four individual products in the enabler range. I'm showing only two here. In fact, the enabler, standard enabler, which is the beige coloured unit with the uh, with the coloured buttons, is available as a as a trackball and a joystick. And uh, same for the enabler pro. Uh, again, a, tr a trackball and a joystick. The main difference is, of course, the colour scheme um, and also the high visibility uh, buttons on the on the enabler pro. Uh, but there is also another feature which I'll introduce in a, in a, in a short while. At the moment, as you can see from the uh, LED being lit, I've got the enabler joystick connected. And uh, if I move the cursor around, you can see it move. And if I go into a, an app with the uh, with the right uh, left click, uh, then I can also quit with the right click. And um, in this particular case, there's, the middle button doesn't actually behave as a standard middle button uh, like on a mouse. Uh, it's actually the axis lock. Uh, so for people with cognitive impairments, sometimes it can be beneficial to have it so that they can, uh, they can move the cursor only in the horizontal direction and then only in the, in the vertical di direction to get to where they need to be. So just to give you a bit of a demo on that, if I press the button now, you see that the LED starts to flash to indicate that I'm in a single axis mode. And I can only move horizontally, so even if I move the stick up and down, nothing actually happens. Um, so just left and right, and then press again, and I've only got vertical movement. So I can get to where I need to be as, as, as two individual operations. And then press again, and I'm back to full XY movement in both directions. And then the buttons at the bottom here are double click and drag, which are obviously derivatives of, of uh, left tap. So they don't need to be set up in the uh, assistive touch menu at all. They will just work as a, uh, as a variant on the, uh, on, on the left click. Uh, so double tap isn't used as much in an iPad as it is in a, in a PC, uh, but it is actually still quite useful because if I go into notes, for example, and I wanted to highlight a particular uh, passage of text and I double click on it. There you go. So it's selected the, uh, the, the whole, well, it's not a word, but uh, that, that particular passage of text um, as a double click. So it's actually still quite useful for that. And then if I come out of there, the other thing that you can also do with the drag, which is quite useful, is move icons around. So if I turn on the drag, then I can drag that around when I'm finished with it, press again. Okay. So that's the enabler joystick and as usual it's switch adapted. Two sockets at the back there but you can program what they are so they can be any one of, uh, of six features actually. The, uh, the five at the front there plus also the speed setting at the back if you, if you would uh, rather have it set to that. Exactly the same on the Enabler Pro. There you go. And let's now plug in the Enabler Pro. And we can show you the, uh, the additional feature that it's got. Obviously this is the trackball version, but otherwise it's uh, largely the same. The, the feature that it has which is different is an anti-tremor. And it's particularly applicable to a trackball actually because if if you have a tremor, then it becomes almost impossible to get over an app and click on it in time. But the anti-tremor feature will, will filter all of that out for you. So if you press and hold, double tap, notice that the LED has turned orange to indicate that the feature is on. And now, to a large extent, that tremor has gone. So you've got a much better chance of being able to, uh, to, to actually click on that app. But there is another level as well, there are actually three. So go up a level and it's filtered out that little bit more and the maximum level and it's really taken the tremor out completely. And then a further press, you're back to normal operation. Okay, so up next is uh, the wireless products.